On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about motion capture and the amazing ways that it can make a game run. But now, we're gonna get into the next one. So I was hesitant to make this video because I don't want to give any media outlet ammunition to use against this game. It's the reason why you don't see the video as controversial. But more than likely, when the game comes out, I think it's going to be a big conversation. Because of all the things that are in it like... School shootings. Human trafficking. Nazism. Religion. Things that are going to be extremely controversial. And there could be a real possibility of this game getting banned in some countries. Now, of course, I want people to get the game. But when it comes to the country's self-regulatory organization, which assigns age and content ratings to the consumer's video game, they are going to have to tell them what's in it. So the cat's out of the bag. I can't say for sure if some people out there watching are going to be able to play this game. Hell, even in the US, our president is considering banning video games. Why give him another reason? Listen. As far as I'm concerned, video games like Ready or Not haven't done anything wrong. If anything, it's the best way to take out your aggression rather than to do it in real life. I should know. A question was asked about this on Reddit. It says, uh, Sadly, this game is going to be banned in so many countries. The trailer alone shows a school shooting, a shooting at a gay bar, and human trafficking. It's going to be extremely controversial. And the devs responded with, Eh, bring it on. If it means a separate bill just for those banned countries, a la Left 4 Dead 2, so be it. We're not going to let that water down our vision. <laughs> So more than likely, the ESRB is probably going to rate this game as an adults-only game. For those of you that don't know, AO-rated games can contain higher levels of violence, profane, sexual, or pornographic content. Which, sorry kids, I mean, if you were planning on playing this game, you're going to really have to ask your parents for this one. I'm going to feel really bad for anybody who gets a gimped version of this game. Or if, it, or if they don't even get one at all, that, that would really suck. Wasn't like one of the Call of Duties like banned completely in Russia or something like that? It's going to be like one of those scenarios. I can't think of any other games that have been banned in other countries, but I'm sure there is some out there. Wait, I think China bans games? I, I don't know. So I hope that this game sells well worldwide, and it's not hindered by a bunch of these things. This is just a quick video that I thought that I would share with you guys because it's been on my mind, and, you know, I found this comment too. I thought that it would be a good time to actually talk about it. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below, and uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye